Ai Weiwei is an incredibly well-known contemporary artist who is also something of a political dissident in China. He's created amazing installations in places like Alcatraz, and he's done these great public outdoor works like the sculptures behind me. Right when the Zodiac Heads were being premiered, he was imprisoned in China without charges being filed against him. And since that point, he's been held in China and not allowed to leave. So he's never actually seen these sculptures in any of the places that they've been. called Circle of Animals Zodiac Heads. And originally, uh, when the, the Zodiac Heads were a fountain in China, um, they were in a circle and they did spout water on the hour. So it was a sort of a clock. Uh, Ai Weiwei took inspiration from that fountain in the creation of these heads. I saw this exhibit in Washington, D.C. two or three years ago, and I came back here and thought it would be so amazing if we could have these sculptures here in our amazing landscape. There's this amazing connection with the zodiac uh, symbiology, the heads themselves, our mission to investigate humanity's relationship with nature. It all just really seemed to come together. I contacted the touring agency that's in charge of sending these heads around. They had never heard of us. So it took a little while and a little convincing. Once they realized how amazing the heads would look here and how many people would get to see them, they were convinced that this would be a perfect venue and so we were able to secure them for this summer. Installing sculptures like these is always a little bit nerve-wracking, but when you have the right people with the right tools and the right experience, it's really not that difficult. So, truck pulls up, we offload these huge pallets that have the heads on them, you have to stand the heads upright and then restrap them, and then with a big crane, lift them each onto their pedestals in the right order, and then secure them to the pedestals. I've heard some visitors say, who have seen these heads installed in other places, that it's never looked better. That it looks amazing here in this natural setting, uh, with Snow King behind it, with the Elk Refuge behind it, these beautiful vistas that you get along with the heads. It itself is uh, a system as a way of understanding our relationship with nature, so to have it out here in this natural setting, I think is a total win-win. And we are so pleased with the way it turned out, and I think everyone that's come so far has been just stunned at the, the beauty of these sculptures in this landscape. <laughs>